In our study, we could show that nanoparticles of titanium dioxide, which is a food additive, can cause inflammation in the large bowel. When somebody eats those particles and is sensitive, they are detected by a sensor in the gut bowel wall, which then causes inflammation and other reactions that further damage the large bowel mucosa. Nanoparticles are very small particles, smaller than one micrometer, and they are made of different substances. And one of the substances nanoparticles are made of is titanium dioxide. And this is found in many foods and also in cosmetics as an additive to those. When we eat the titanium dioxide, and it gets down to the large bowel through the digestive tract, it is able to penetrate into the mucosal wall in the large bowel because those small particles just get through the cells there and there they activate a sensor that finally leads to activation of the immune system, which then leads to inflammation. And this inflammation puts further damage to the mucosal wall and so more titanium dioxide is taken up. And as we don't know how it's excreted, we find a higher concentration in patients that have such a barrier defect, such as patients with inflammatory bowel disease. We indeed found in our study that they have increased levels in the bloodstream, and we have no idea whether this can be excreted or whether it accumulates in the body and causes further damage. Titanium dioxide is added to a number of different foods. It's found in marshmallows, it's found in coffee whitener, um, it has a number E171 um, that shows that it has been tested in healthy volunteers, but of course not in patients. It's also found in chewing gum, it's found in cosmetics, um, and it's an additive to tablets. It makes the tablets bright white. Based on our findings, we would recommend to patients and people that are sensitive and patients that have intestinal inflammation that they try to avoid those convenience foods that contain a lot of this additive and that they avoid, avoid cosmetics. And with respect, for example, to salt, we would recommend that they use the grainy salt, um, the sea salt, not the, the uh, salt that is very powdery because that contains a lot of those additives. And the same is true for flour.